What's going on everybody? Welcome back to JJD TV. I'm your host Josh and I'm in here for a very pathetic attempt at a uh, at a predictions video that I did well well some time ago back on August 27th, 2020. One of our first videos here on the channel, I did a Bundesliga predictions video. Felt relatively confident at the time. Had a lot of people in the comments disagreeing with me and you guys were absolutely rightly so cuz I butchered this prediction table so we're gonna break it down we're gonna take a look at where I did go right where I did go wrong mostly went wrong and I hope you guys sit back and enjoy but before we get started here I want to ask you guys to please like the video and subscribe we are getting dangerously close to 3,000 subscribers and just taking some time and dropping that uh, that sub would mean a lot to me and get us closer to our goal but we're gonna get right into it right now and going way back in August, being a Dortmund fan, and uh, giving a shout out to Tactical Manager, who went above and beyond to say that Dortmund was going to win the league, give him huge respect at the time for it. I didn't agree with him though. I uh, I went out there and I said that Bayern would win the league. I'm starting from the top to the bottom because I got most of the top ones at least relatively close. So starting at the top of the table, I picked Bayern to win the league, and I was spot on. Obviously, it wasn't that close. The title race looked like it might have gone a little bit longer. Leipzig was hanging in there. But ultimately, Bayern was just too strong, and I got one for one. So I mean, it's a good start. It's a good start so far, but it's gonna it's gonna get dangerously more embarrassing. So I mean, we can kind of keep a tally of how many I got right. I'm gonna get producer T to hold, I guess, the fingers up for me because we're at one right now. Going into number two, I picked Borussia Dortmund. Had confident that they were, they were gonna have a good season, closer to Bayern, maybe a season similar to Thomas Tuchel's. I mean, and, I mean, I was closer than I thought. I mean, we were obviously slipping down left, right, and center throughout the season. We know exactly what happened. We are a Dortmund fan channel. We were able to bounce back and somehow, by the skin of our teeth, finish in third place. So I was one off there, which isn't awfully bad. But, uh, I mean, it could have been a lot worse considering the way that this season was going. But, I mean, at this point, I will take it. Third in the table, I predicted RB Leipzig. They did obviously a little bit better. They only by one point by Dortmund. They finished in second place. Very good start to the season for them. I, but I mean, they had a very poor end to the season. Nagelsmann obviously had some impact on that. We're going to talk about a little bit of that when it came to the uh, the way that some of these teams were versus where they finished. But again, one off, not the worst situation. The next one is I picked Leverkusen. I felt like they were going to be a team that would go a little bit above and beyond their expectations. A lot of the people disagreed that I put them in fourth place, given the fact that Havertz and Vaughn left. I still thought that, that Bailey and Diaby would have huge seasons this year, along with Ilario, and I just thought it was going to be one of those seasons that they surprised people. They had an excellent start. I looked like a genius for half the season. They were almost they were in second place, I believe, after, at the halfway mark. If they would have saw that, that, that Bayern game, they would have been top of the table, but things started going drastically down. Peter Bosch got sacked, and they slipped into a comfortable Europa League spot in sixth place. So I, probably where most of you guys were predicting them anyways. And yeah, so two off there. Not the worst for the Champions League positions. For our two Europa League spots, I predicted in fifth place Gladbach, which a lot of you guys thought were going to get even sometimes in the top three. They had a miserable campaign. And again, when it came to coaching, we signed Marco Rosa. Completely ruined Gladbach's season. They slipped down. They ended up finishing in 8th place. No European football for them. Very disappointing. Relatively poor guess from Josh. Nothing you can really do there. Wolfsburg, other kind of way, they overachieved. I put them in 6th. Thought they'd have a very consistent season, as they did. But they had an even more consistent season by defining the odds, getting into the top 4, and getting a 4th place finish. They arguably should have probably finished 3rd, but slipped it towards the end. Some poor results towards the end of the season. But they still got the Champions League football which is relatively impressive because I just didn't really see them pulling that off. Looking at the seventh place, the conference league position, I put Hoffenheim. They had a dreadful campaign. They were a little all over the place. It was not exactly what, what the budget and what this team was supposed to achieve at the beginning of the season. They finished in 11th place, bottom half of the table. Nothing much to say. I don't think a lot of guys and supporters of the buttons they got there will be too sympathetic for them, but it was a still relatively poor campaign for Hoffenheim and even worse guess there for Josh. Looking outside of the European places, in eighth place, and where some of these, I mean, George, I'm looking at you, put them up in a Champions League position. We're looking at Hertha Berlin. They finished in eighth, or that's where at least I would predict them to finish, and when in reality they finished in a very dreadful 14th place, which is a very poor season by their standards. I think this was a real big shock of the Bundesliga this year. 
I think just with all the depth that they got added to this squad, the the promising manager that they had at the time, and it just looked like they would be competing for Europa League. I thought they were a little inconsistent last year, which is why I didn't put them even in the Europa League or Champions League, which is why I had them just missing out. But finishing in 14th for the amount of money that was put in this club is, is miserable for, for Hertha Berlin, and all in all for them, a very poor season. And again, for Josh, a very, very poor effort at a, at a guess there, because Hertha surprised a lot of people. And I can almost... I don't know if this one's arguably worse, but I mean, it's right around the same. I put Frankfurt in ninth place. A lot of you guys, again, didn't agree with me and thought that Frankfurt had a better season. I mean, we didn't know at the time that Lukijovic was going to come back, but Andre Silva had a fantastic season, broke a record for being the all-time highest score in a single season for Frankfurt. So huge shout out to Andre Silva. Very fun watching him this season. But they, uh, yeah, I put them in ninth place. And when reality, they, they should have had a Champions League spot. They have no one else to blame but themselves. Another manager announcement that threw off a club, and it cost them as they finished in fifth place. But ninth to fifth, I mean, I was I was wrong by a good chunk there. But they had an excellent, excellent season, and I clearly didn't see that one happening. Okay, guys, we're here to break up Josh's failed attempt at doing a successful Bundesliga prediction to bring you support for today's episode, and that comes from Manscaped. Manscaped has the right tools to get the job done quickly, safely, and hygienically. But Father's Day is just around the corner, and you probably need a gift for your hairy father. I know I do. Back, chest, I'm assuming probably other areas. But you can make your dad proud this year by giving him a gift yourself, and that is the Manscaped Lawnmower 4.0, the ultra smooth package. You know that you can say it like a father, like a son. I'm trying to follow suit. I've shaved myself. I've seen what he's done over the year. We, we, we are here to impress our significant others. And that's what the, four, the Lawnmower 4.0 can do with the ultra smooth package. It's just perfect for you and your dad in your life to complete your grooming game. You can get 20% off and free shipping with the code JJDTV at manscaped.com. That's 20% off with the code JJDTV at manscaped.com. So it should be a it should be a good opportunity for you guys to you know become excellent fathers. I know that's exactly what I'm going to be getting my father because I know what he looks like, and I'm here to help. So you can get 20% off from shipping at Manscaped.com using the code JJDTV. It's Dad Bod season. Time to get smooth. Okay, guys, we're back from the ad read, and I, I just I honestly put it there just because I don't really want to talk about the rest of the table, but. I have to. It's my, it was my predictions because I'm not smart. But at number 10, I put Schalke. <laughs> Sorry. I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking. I had every single person rip me to shreds when they saw Schalke there. Some people were sort of under the, the assumption that maybe they'd slip relegation. Maybe they'd find a way. They're obviously a big club. This is a horrible season. But, I mean, first game of the season when they lost 8-0 to Bayern, I was just looked back I'm like I'm gonna be in trouble and where do they finish they finished in an embarrassing 18th place relegated Dortmund fans absolutely love it but I'm still ashamed that I put them in 10th place I'm sorry guys a lot of you guys who are newer to the channel are, are gonna be disappointed in me as well we move on to a little bit better of a one and that was Freiburg who finished in well I put them in 11th they finished in 10th which is where obviously I put Schalke so I was one off that one's a little less embarrassing but I mean either way it's it's, it's still a huge L for, for Josh. We move on to Werder Bremen, where I put them in 12th place. I thought that Werder Bremen, after the successful slip of relegation last season, that they were going to be in a much better form. And honestly, I was right for most of the season until they completely fell apart in the latter stages of the season and ended up slipping down into 17th, another big club that's going down, which I felt for them. But, I mean, again, watching their, their form towards the end of the season, they had no one else to blame but themselves. Looking at Cologne, who's then, then in 13th place. Again, a team I thought that would find a way to groove it together. They were looking like they'd be the ones who would slip down right away, but they ended up getting into 16th place, which is still poor finish. I had them higher. I thought they are a good enough squad to be able to, to find a way to, to stay up, but they still might be able to find a way up. They got to battle a, a little relegation playoff to do so first, but still a relatively embarrassing prediction from Josh. In 14th place, I put Stuttgart, and they completely proved us wrong. They had a fantastic season this this year. A lot of fun players to watch. They obviously had the embarrassing game where they stomped Dortmund. We're not going to focus on that. We're going to focus on the Ansgar Knauf goal against them late, but huge kudos to them. As a, as a promotion team, it's not usually 
where you like to see them is is up towards the top half because you usually as a safe bet want to put them in the bottom half of the table but I'm happy to say that they proved everyone long because it was very fun watching this season. They finished in ninth place, so a huge shout-out to them. Again, completely proven Josh is not good at this game of we know of predictions. But right below them, to make it even more embarrassing, I put Union Berlin in 15th. I thought that they proved a lot of people wrong last year. I thought that, again, they'd be flirting a little bit with relegation but would be safe. Not only were they safe, they they somehow got up to the, the Europa Conference League, the new competition that's coming in from UEFA, and knocked Gladbach out on the last day to, to get 7th, which is an unbelievably impressive achievement for Union Berlin. So a big shout out to them. Congratulations. Josh was, was wrong once again. Finally, looking at the bottom three of the table for Josh's predictions, I put Mainz in the relegation battle. I put them in 16th. I just felt like this was going to be their year to slip up, that this was going to be a poor season for them. I was again I was right they looked dead and buried and they kind of pulled a Werder Bremen last year and had the great escape to get up there and they finished even out of the 16th place they finished in 12th huge shout out to that club with the unbelievable achievement I've even stated on on stream once that they're, they're dead and buried and there's no way that they're going to not get relegated alongside Schalke completely completely <laughs> proved me wrong but just under them I put in 17th place Augsburg Again, it's a team like Mainz that always seems to be flirting with relegation, and I thought this year was just going to be one of the years that, that they slip. But Daniel Calagiri and friends did have a relatively comfortable safe, safety Bundesliga season. They finished in 13th place. Nothing wrong with that. Proved Josh wrong once again. And then in dead last place, I think it's where I, where I put Union Berlin this, the season prior, and they proved me wrong just like Armenia Bielefeld proved me wrong once again. I just didn't think that they added enough to this squad, and arguably on paper, th they shouldn't have. Have made it but they honestly they, they did they I put them in 15th place or 18th place they ended up finishing in 15th place completely avoided any type of relegation battle and I guess a huge shout out to them so guys you can let me know what you thought of this I know it was embarrassing I was a little embarrassed to have to make it especially with that Schalke prediction but let me know what you guys predicted at the beginning of the season let me know if you ag agreed with some of my points at the beginning of the season or if you're just gonna rip on me for the Schalke which is totally fair so I hope you guys did enjoy this little reactions video because, yeah, it was, it was quite something. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. Be sure to comment, like, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.